seeing a student take an idea and run with it and do something that totally was unexpected and that they didn't even have to do, right? But they, it, it made sense, it connected with them. The tragedy of the past year has been hundreds of thousands of people who died. Maybe it's not pleasant to think about the numbers. They are a starting point for discussion, conversation, and, and talking about the nature of empathy, which is back and forth and not letting the circumstances uh, dictate that dialogue and that human connection. The class itself teaches knowledge about death and dying. I told them that they had an option to write an essay about art, uh, to write an essay about their own experience that they see in the art, or to make something. I think it is through listening to, to students and being open to their ideas. To allow the dead to speak that, uh, comes from sitting still and being quiet. Remembering the good as well as the bad uh, that, that comes to mind. It was nice to be able to have that sort of debriefing from the students about how they felt about what they had done and what they had learned in the process. What I remember is the word thank you and many students said thank you for the space and the opportunity to be able to, to remember. I have to say, when I see a student create something as a result of something that they learned in the classroom, it, it just, I'm, you know, the, sometimes the question is, why do you teach? And that's what comes to mind. Uh, to remember is to heal. So then the question becomes, what are we going to remember together, collectively? How do we remember this time? Mm -hmm.